Tony of obduran.com. Today I am going to take a look at how to access data from an old hard drive by using Cool Gears USB 3.0, SATA, and IDE hard drive adapter. So, let's say you have an old hard drive with data that you must absolutely have, like old pictures, videos, and other documents and you don't want to throw that drive away or maybe it's just too expensive to have a professional retrieve that data for you then this is the way to get that data back there are other ways to access the data or information from uh, old hard drives and if you work in IT then you have probably used an external drive enclosure like this one which I use to back up data or, my favorite, you have probably used another computer like this one uh, to connect your drive to. So the way that this works is, as you notice, there's already a primary drive in there. And you would take the, the old drive, connect this ribbon cable there, and connect the power supply to that side here. Power up the computer, and the computer should recognize that drive and so that way you can back up the data to a CD-ROM, DVD-ROM uh, to the computer itself or maybe even to an external drive. But of course this way and the external drive enclosure it's a little bit too slow and it takes a, a little bit of time so definitely the cool gear adapter will make this much quicker. Now, this Cool Gear adapter you can find on Amazon.com for about $30, $35. There are three connections on this, and they are the standard SATA. I don't know if you can see this, but this is what SATA looks like. There is an IDE 3.5 inch connection. This is what an IDE connection looks like. and the IDE 2.5 inch for laptop drives. Now, what do I mean by IDE and SATA? Now, if you look at your hard drive or computer, and if it's connected, if your hard drive is connected by a cable that looks like this, then it's definitely a SATA drive. And if, or, but if you can look at your connection and it looks like it's like this one, then it's definitely an IDE, IDE connection or IDE drive. Now this is slightly older technology. Just about every drive made today comes with SATA. It's newer, it's much faster. And this is the way it works. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB connection to the back. This goes to any USB port on your computer. I'm going to test my uh, laptop uh, uh, SATA drive first. Be careful when you connect it. It's, uh, the connection is a, a little delicate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and connect my USB port. I'm going to connect the power supply to the back and then I'm going to turn, on the, dev I'm going to turn the device on. It just recognized it. Wait a few seconds for the uh, device to pop up. And there it is. It shows up on my computer as an F drive. And there's all the information on it. So now I can uh, right click on a folder, copy, and paste it somewhere on my computer. Uh, to back up the data. Let me show you. That's what it looks like. I want to go ahead and turn it off. 
and we're going to test or access the IDE drive now. Now the IDE uh, goes on this side, IDE 3.5. Now as I said, this is the older technology and probably what most people have. Be careful when you connect this. There it is. Now, uh, for the three and a half inch desktop IDE drives, you need an additional power supply, but it's already included with the uh, Cool Gear uh, adapter. So this this side goes here, and the other side goes to the back of the adapter. Like so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I can hear it powering up already. Right now I just have my C drive, D drive, and E drive, both DVD runs. Now because this is an IDE drive, it's going to take just a little bit longer uh, for it to appear on your desktop. There it is. It shows up as a local disk, F. And that's it. Let me go ahead and open it up. And these are all my files. Now I can go ahead and Back up this data and save it to probably my external drive or what have you. And there we go. I hope you like this video. 